Hello everyone. Welcome to the practice session. So far we are looking into steps one to four of exercise one. So in step one, we try to look into our imagination and we also try to observe the feeling that is guiding our thoughts and expectation. In step two, we try to evaluate the feeling and find out whether it is naturally acceptable or not. In step three, we looked into the state of being and we try to find out whether the state of being is comfortable or not. And in step four, we try to make out who is deciding the feeling and then finally concluded that it is me who decides the feeling. And then we also concluded that I am solely responsible for my happiness or unhappiness. Any other physiochemical thing or any other person outside may only be a triggering point for my unhappiness or happiness. But essentially, I am responsible for my happiness or unhappiness. Now with this clarity, we'll look into step five. So I'll discuss step five now. And these are the seven steps that we are discussing. So in step five, we are again doing the self-evaluation and we are trying to find out what is the basis of the decision. So I'm finding out the basis on which I decide my feeling, my thought. Is it right understanding or is it some assumption in the absence of right understanding? So taking an example, let's say somebody uses a harsh language for you. Okay. And you get the sound through your body as a sensation and then you interpret that this person wants to make me unhappy because he is using a harsh language for me. Now you have associated a meaning to this, right? And you decided your feeling of opposition on the basis of this assumption that the other person wants to make you unhappy. So here you can see that clearly there is an assumption here. If you are able to see that intention wise, the other person is sound, he doesn't want to make me unhappy. Rather, he is himself unhappy, perturbed, disturbed, anxious. And because of that, he is using some kind of language which is not acceptable to me naturally. So this is your understanding. This is your right understanding. In the first case, you assume that the other person wanted to make you unhappy and then you became unhappy. In the second case, you are able to see that this person has sound intention only that the competence is lacking and then you remain happy so you have to make out in all your interpretations all your decisions what is the basis of that decision is it right understanding or is it absence of right understanding some assumption some preconditioning so you'll see that when i decide my feeling my thought on the basis of right understanding i'm able to decide in favor of a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me is natural for me it is in accordance with human nature. And then I remain comfortable in harmony, in a state of happiness within. So in step two, we are trying to observe whether the feeling that is there in me is naturally acceptable to me or not. In step three, we are trying to see whether I am comfortable with this feeling or not. And now I'm able to see that I remain comfortable only when the basis of my decision for the feeling is right understanding. So if you remember in step four, we had come to the conclusion that it is me who is responsible. And then we can see how I'm responsible. I am associating some meaning to what I'm getting as an information from outside. And that association might be either based on right understanding or some assumption. And that's how I am responsible, isn't it? So when I decide my feeling, my thought on the basis of assumption, some preconditioning, it is not definite which feeling I decide for a feeling which is naturally acceptable to me or a feeling which is otherwise and it will depend upon this assumption. And with this, my state is indefinite. I am comfortable sometimes, I am uncomfortable sometimes, I am in harmony sometimes, I am in contradiction sometimes, isn't it? I am sometimes happy, sometimes unhappy. So this kind of indefiniteness would be there, right? So if it is on the basis of right understanding, I will always be comfortable. If it is on the basis of some assumption, it is not definite. If the assumption is right, I may become comfortable. If the assumption is wrong, I become uncomfortable. But ultimately it is me who is deciding the feeling and there is a basis to this. And this basis is again there in me only. It is not something outside. 
it's me who is going to have the right understanding it is me who is going to assume something otherwise isn't it so from this i can see the need for right understanding and the need for deciding my feeling my thought on the basis of right understanding so one important conclusion the takeaway from this step is that i am able to see the need to develop my right understanding because unless i understand the things rightly <clears throat> i am going to assume something which may be otherwise and then my state of being is not definite it can be comfortable or uncomfortable isn't it whether i'm going to be happy or not is not definite so independent of whether things outside are fine or not fine i can have the right understanding and then my state of being will be guided by me by by right understanding okay and not by something from outside isn't it so to elaborate it further if the desire that is feeling is decided on the basis of block b1 that is right understanding then it is acceptable to me naturally okay and it is definite so if the awakening has taken place to the higher activities of contemplation understanding and realization i am able to see the coexistence as it is i am able to understand the harmony in nature as it is i am able to contemplate upon the participation in the larger order as it is then i have right understanding ensured in me and then this will guide my imagination block b2 and then my conduct is going to be definite my feeling is going to be definite i am going to be comfortable within me all the time if that is not the case and the desire that is feeling is decided mostly on the basis of preconditioning or sensation then it is sometimes natural sometimes unnatural so whenever my conditioning matches with my natural acceptance it's natural for me otherwise this is unnatural but there is indefiniteness isn't it so there is no certainty of happiness in me and then i am dictated by something outside isn't it so this is something for you to observe isn't it so we might be here presently but he, from here we have to transform this state the awakened state the developed state of the self and this is what we are working for so presently it may be that the preconditioning or sensation is dictating my imagination the assumptions are there in me which are unguided which are not based on right understanding and that's how there is indefiniteness but whether i am having the right understanding or not ultimately it is me who is responsible for my happiness or unhappiness it is me who is deciding my feeling and there is a basis to this the basis either could be my right understanding or it could be some assumption that i have nurtured within me without verification so again we can see that it is ultimately me who is responsible for my happiness or unhappiness and then we are looking into the basis of the decision making that we are doing so now there is an assignment here for the next 24 hours in every incident and interaction with others evaluate your feeling and ask yourself what has been the basis on which i am deciding my feeling my thought is it right understanding or is it some assumption so to accomplish step 5 first of all you have to go through steps 1 to 4 so you have to observe your feeling then see whether it is naturally acceptable to you or not then see whether you are comfortable within or not then see who is making the decision so like one conclusion that we drew from our discussion is that i am responsible for my happiness or unhappiness you are responsible for your happiness or unhappiness but this may only be at the level of thought okay but you have to see whether in your every feeling in your every imagination are you able to see this clearly now once you are able to see that it is you who is responsible then ask yourself what is the basis of the decisions that you are making in your imagination is it right understanding or is it some assumption fine and then do i see the need for right understanding and the need for deciding my feeling my thought on the basis of right understanding or not so if i am able to see that when the basis is right understanding then i am going to be happy my conduct is going to be definite so i naturally see the need for right understanding so this is another thing to observe many times we feel that i am right the other person needs to understand it might be the case that i am also wrong the other is also wrong so i also need to develop right understanding in me the other also needs to develop right understanding in oneself so this is one important takeaway from here that we are able to see the need for right understanding isn't it so you can note down your observations in your journal 
and then we'll discuss the next step of the practice session in the next week so today we discussed step 5 so going from step 1 now we have been able to come to step 5 and we try to observe the basis for the decision that we are making about our feeling and we try to make out whether this is right understanding or this is some assumption and from here we are able to see the need for right understanding so work on this and practice this for a week and then we'll discuss the next step in the next week so thank you